Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to St. Henry Catholic Church in Gresham, Oregon. My name is Father Charles Zock, and I'm joined at the altar by Deacon Larry Lumina. Today is the Feast of the Transfiguration. So let's begin with our opening song, which will serve also as our Gloria. Jesus on the mountain peak Stands alone in glory blazing Let us, if we dare to speak Join the saints and angels praising Praise and glory, praise and glory Praise and glory to our Lord Let us, if we dare to speak Join the saints and angels praising. Trembling at his feet we saw Moses and Elijah speaking. All the prophets and the law shout through them their joyful greeting. Praise and glory. Confirm the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the word of God. Reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. 
His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one, he was presented to him. The one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord, the Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The mountains are like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all people see his glory. The Lord, the Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. Because of you, Lord, are the most high over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been witnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when the unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory, this is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. And moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as to a lamp shining in a dark place, until day dawns and the morning star rises in your heart. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Raised their eyes, they saw no one else 
but Jesus alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine, if you will, you're one of the disciples, and you had just heard in previous chapters uh, that Jesus was going to give himself up, die, you would be devastated. Jesus takes the three closest to him up the mountain, where he is transfigured, so they can see that he is really God not to worry if he's going to die because he will come above rise above death but the transfiguration has so much this story has so much in a short little, little bit to tell us now we have Moses and Elijah joining Jesus the law and the prophets and Jesus the fulfillment of all that Old Testament writing. And it's an experience that, of course, Peter, the one that's kind of impetuous, the one that's always at the forefront doing what we do as humans, you know, kind of making mistakes and whatnot, he wants to stay there because the experience is something that he probably has never experienced. Obviously, you don't see someone transfigure themselves, but that experience was so heartfelt to him. So think back, if you will, an experience that you've had that brought you closest to Jesus that you've ever felt in your life. And I'll just tell you, for me, it was the Easter Vigil in 1996 when I was welcomed into the Catholic faith. I still think back, I can remember the songs that were played that evening. Really didn't want it to end. But of course, as all things do, it does. And then we have the memory of it. Another, another time when I'm brought closer to Jesus is when I hear the St. Louis Jesuit version of glory to God in the highest. I don't know if you've ever seen that or heard that. But it's wonderful when there's one point in that song where everything's quiet and then the voice is raised together. It brings me closer to God and I can actually feel it. It's like I get a tingling sensation. But that's me. But the transfiguration, we see Jesus showing so brightly, but like they say, not even a fuller or someone that dies clothes could even come up with that color of white, so intensely bright. But one thing that we do here is when the cloud comes over everybody, and we assume that that's God talking, he said, this is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Now, where did we hear that before? At the baptism, right? We heard the clouds part, and then we hear that also. That would mean that would be very important to remember and act on, right? This is my son, whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Like I've often said, when Jesus speaks in the Gospels, it's time to really pay attention. Because we, in our lives, get so far astray at times. And we kind of sometimes maybe forget about Jesus. And we get caught up in what we're doing. But we are called to that transformation also. We are called to daily be transformative in our lives and for others. Show that light of Christ that emanates from us. To show that light to all who we encounter. Not put them off so they can say, see, that's what Christians really are. They're, they're no good. No. We want someone to leave us with the experience. I want what that person has, and I want it to the fullest. And so does that mean we baptize if we're not? to seek the sacraments, if we have it, to transform and to transform others. 
Now in this story, of course, they go up a high mountain. And on the way down, after they've had this experience, you would know because they're coming down a hill, it would be a little bit easier. Jesus is fully in the that period of time, life is just a little bit easier for me. The other thing that strikes me in this gospel is where Jesus says, do not be afraid. How many times does he say that throughout the gospels? Do not be afraid. And in these times that we're facing, especially with the virus, there's a lot of us that don't want to catch it don't want to go through the suffering that this virus can cause some people. But we always have Jesus. We put our faith in Jesus and then whatever whatever's going to happen is, is really God's will. But that faith, I think, helps us get through these times of anxiety and stress a little easier. So we can continue being transformative for others. So the two things I want to leave you with today. Listen to him. Do not be afraid. On this, the Feast of Transfiguration, let us lift our hearts and voices in prayers to the Lord. We pray that we recognize the Christ as the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. And may, as God directs, may we listen to him with our hearts and our ears. Having ears to hear, we pray to the Lord. Lord Almost 18 years ago, Pope St. John Paul II added the luminous mysteries, a central piece being the transfiguration. May we increase our devotion to the mysteries of salvation in the rosary. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. We pray for Frances Morris, Morris, whose funeral we have today, that she rest in peace and for consolation to her family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. And we add our own intentions in the silence of our heart. We make all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Yes, we God. Through this mystery of water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Sisters and brothers, we pray together that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son. And by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses, and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heights. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. Please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Alexander and Peter our bishops, with all the clergy and your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with Peter, James, and John, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now, directed by divine teaching, let us pray together the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. A couple of announcements. First of all, tomorrow we'll be distributing food boxes over a thousand that are a combo box of dairy, meat, and produce. Also at 11 o'clock today is the funeral mass for Francis Moritz. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Jesus on the mountain peak stands alone in glory blazing. Let us, if we dare to speak, 
join the saints and angels praising. Praise and glory, praise and glory, praise and glory to our Lord. Let us, if we dare to speak, join the saints and angels 